Uh, sir. Good afternoon, Roshan. So, can you tell me about yourself? First of all, thank you for giving me opportunity to introduce myself. My name is Roshan Vijay Sawan. I am from Chandogi, Nasi. I have completed my bachelor's of engineering from Sir Vishweshwara Institute of Technology, Nasi. I know the some basic knowledge of Python, SQL, and C programming. I have completed my internship as a Python intern in Phoenix ACTM. In this internship, I have completed some basic projects. I am passionate, passionate about my career and continuously developing my skills. I am a quick learner and taking the challenges on daily life. That's all about myself. So, Roshan, my question is that why you chose Python as your career option? Python is a top paper programming language for data science and research. It is simply use and learn. Okay. Anyone can understand the basic syntax of programming in Python. That's why we can choose Python. Okay. So you said that it is the topmost language in data science and machine yes, learning. So what makes Python different from other languages? Like how is Python different from other programming languages? Python is run on interpreter, okay. so it can support all pro all operating systems. Time taken development of program is less as compared to other programming languages, and its simplicity of learning and uses. Okay, so okay, so you are saying that Python is interpreter based language. Yes, sir. So what do you mean by an interpreter? Interpreter means they are executed code line by line. Okay. So, can you tell me that what are different data types in Python? Yes, there are two categories of data types in Python. First one is scalar, that is fixed and static data types. It includes integer, for, string, and boolean. Second, second one is non scalar, that is changeable or dynamic data types, it includes string, list, set, tupper, and dictionary. Okay, good. So, like, these are the non-changeable data types. Yes. Okay. Can you tell me the difference between list and tuple? Lists are the mutable data structure, which can be declared using square bases and elements separated by comma. Tuple is the immutable data structure which is declared using parentheses and separated by comma. The lists are support multiple built-in functions such as append, insert, update because they are the mutable property. Tuple does not support many built-in functions but support some built-in functions such as Tell me the difference between break and continue based on applications and loop. Okay. Back statement is used when we can terminate the loops. Okay. And continuous statement is used whenever we can skip current iteration. Okay. So in that case, I have another question regarding conditional statements that what is the purpose of utilization of if, elif and else keywords in case of conditional statements? Okay. If keyword is used in conditional statement to start the condition, okay. ellipse is used whenever we can add another condition and else is a core, core of work which can execute whenever none of previous condition are made. And what do you mean by global variable and non-local variable? global variable will be accessible in anywhere it is declared using global keyword non-local variable will be accessed in particular function or we can say as declaration and it is declared using non-local keyword very good what do you mean by object oriented programming language object oriented programming language contains classes and object Okay. Can you elaborate the four pillars of object-oriented programming language? Yes, there are four pillars. First one is abstraction. Second one is encapsulation. Third one is inheritance. 
Fourth one is polymorphism. In abstraction, we can hide unnecessary details from user. In real time application, it is an ATM machine. We are unavailable from internal process of ATM machine. Okay. Second one is encapsulation. Encapsulation means bindings of data and at matters in single unity. Mm -hmm. Real time application is school bag. It contains pen, pencil, and notebook. Third one is inheritance. In inheritance concept, we can with child cars acquire some properties of parent cars. In the real time application, child inherits from its parents. And in polymorphism, there are one object have many things. Mm -hmm. Such in real time application, example is a man is a woman, a employee, a husband, her father and a son. Very good. And uh, what is the difference between a constructor and destructor in OOPS? Constructor is automatically called when object of cars is created. Very it good. is denoted by init method and it is used for initializing the values. Okay. Destructor is automatically called when object is goes out of scope, which is used to delete the object and it is is syntax is a del function very good uh, can you tell me that what role does self play in case of oops okay self is instance represent the instance of cars using self keyword we can accept attributes and methods of the cases very good what is a function Function is a block of code which can be reusable, organized in some way that is called as a function. And what are different types of functions based on parameters? There are four types of functions with based on parameter. First one is the first uh, one argument parameter. Second one is two second two parameters third one is a default parameter function last one is a arbitrary numbers of parameter it includes star args and double star kwargs krgs u star args use in list double stake double star kwargs is used for dictionary okay what do you mean by init in function and where do we use it in it in function in case is called as a constructor constructor will automatically call when object is created and it is used when we can initialize the values of attributes of objects okay can you give me an example of destructor on a real time basis of application in this structure in real time application we can use file management system okay whenever we can open multiple files as a once some files are goes out of scope they will automatically delete okay. this is working of the structure very good very good in which case do we use while loop and for loop in python for for loop is used whenever numbers of iterations are known the while loop is used when number of iterations are unknown for the user iterations you have been selected for the next round thank you sir thank you